and uh, yeah, we're documenting this occasion because we can. Come on. And because hopefully, documenting this will make us lots of money later on. We can sell it to people. See, we can buy the DVD. We can like record ourselves being stupid, and then people will buy it. It works for everybody. We get to be stupid. They get to watch us be stupid and give us money. You would think that people like at Slayer concerts would be violent. No, no. Get a bunch of guys with a pinata around them. Then you'll see some real violence. And I'm not kidding either. Can't you know? Wait for you sit there and go, yeah, you know. Mashuga, they're pretty heavy. They got, you know, these skinhead dudes like beating the fuck out of each other. That's pretty intense. No. Yeah, I see nothing to see. Say, tell a, bunch, a crowd of crazy people to tear up a pinata. They ravage the thing. There's nothing left. So much violence. And then they get candy. Ah, 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 ah. All right, we're on Melrose. Check it out. Psycho stick, baby. Yeah. We're gonna go have breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh my God. <laughs> And I said, what about <laughs> So when's this place gonna sink? <laughs> uh, very unimpressive, I'm not Whoa, Lamborghini. Yeah, Lamborghini. Very unimpressive. <laughs> we need to know your philosophy on love. Love doesn't really exist, guys. It's fake. Look the camera in the eye. Hey, uh, um, <laughs> Come on! What's your take on this, Josh? Well, I don't know, because I love this meatball sandwich. Yeah, what about his I'm love? I'm pretty sure it exists. I know that when I put it in my mouth... That's love? Well, it may be fake, because my brain will be telling me that it's I'm... juicy and <laughs> tasty. <laughs> mm. Let's go find everybody that has flip flops on, kick all their asses. <laughs> Take a bite, audience. We were having a discussion before that I want uh, people to consider. Um, aliens. They do exist. Considering the universe has been around for 13.4 billion years, and our solar system is one of like billions within our galaxy, the Milky Way. And in our galaxy, there's like millions of those or billions of those within the cluster of them. And then there's clusters of the clusters. And so the basically the universe is so enormous, chances that there aren't aliens are just so minuscule it's absurd. Now it's got philosophical and theoretical on us. <laughs> All in one paragraph. Not theoretical it's fucking true. We're coming. Whoa. Oh my God. Ah, woo! That's got my penis taken all over. Remember that? Let's make a movie, bitch. You like this? My car slowed down when you did that. <laughs> Bruce Campbell and Alien Apocalypse. You're in. Camera agrees. Everyone watched that. I mean, the audience agrees. You're an audience. Eat the meatball that I just on the ground. No! <laughs> Come on! Yeah, dude. Tony put that in his mouth after it hit the Tony, ground. Tony's got again. six of the seven <laughs> fucking STDs known to man. That's disgusting. <laughs> again! Uh, I can't even <laughs> Tony, you're a bastard, man. You're a mad man. Yeah, yeah dude, now he's just like, welcome to the wonderful world of hepatitis C. <laughs> I just want the world to know, yeah. Mike is a state. Go ahead, Mike. Throw this fucker in there. It's been proven that every girl in Hollywood Shall has at least had one or two abortions and has been in porno. Look it up. Come on!
absolutely true. <laughs> and now you know. Stars. The more you know, the more you grow. The more you know. Knowledge is power. <laughs> Good knowledge is power. Ow! This isn't where I parked my car. <laughs> We found Hooker's blood on the on the mattress. Yeah, I see seagulls <laughs> to and fro. Hey, when there's a heavy part in the song, I'm gonna show footage of the beach. Now this is Josh's first time at a real beach. What's a beach? And Josh is questioning what a beach is, so let us inform him. <laughs> well, okay, Josh, how do you feel? <laughs> I feel sandy. <laughs> That's how you roll on the beach. Here it is. The source? The goddamn 80s surfer trend. Right here. Fuck all of you! Fuck all of you! Damn your fucking jams and your Ocean Pacific! And your gecko shorts. I was told there would be chicks with bikinis just one running around going do 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 like everywhere and you like couldn't keep them bumping. Where? Where are they? They fucking lie to us. They're at home knitting their blankets. You guys are totally in the way. You guys are totally gonna get blue coffee. I used to show them my shirts. Okay, we got five out of seven people in the band. And I'm not even in the band. Wearing cycle stick shirts. I'm, I'm part of the team. Actually, I played instruments. We're having a corporate team meeting today about the statistics of stuff. Hey, bitches. What should I tell the bitches? What's up, sluts? You guys are sluts. Big. You don't stay with us. Use a bunch you of hot stuff. All right. We played Peabody's last I'm night. We played Peabody's last <laughs> night in Cleveland. That place kicks ass. It's going bad. Right. Huh? We destroyed the faces. They were just like. Oh, shh. See, look at this crap right here, dude. Look at these guys. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Watch Mike P. Oh man. <laughs> <Rock thing. laughs> We've seen so much beautiful country on this trip that uh, that it's time to pee in the mountain. It's time to pee on the mountain. I already peed on the mountain. You guys are too late. The wind's going this way. I don't want to pee on my leg. You'll piss on your leg. Show them that huge boner tree. Boner tree. Yep. You know. I'm kind of wondering why we suddenly compared everything to something sexual. Like, this is a giant penis for some reason. We don't know why. It's yeah. a tree. It's a tree. <laughs> it's not a tree. You're right. It's it's a tree. Tree. We live in a van. I live with six other guys. Seven. Six. Yeah, I sorry. live with six other guys. Be and it sucks. <laughs> Look at that nipple. <laughs> Look at this nipple. <laughs> Idaho's really gay. <laughs> I can't wait till they see this. With Portland, now we're in Washington. That's the update. We tried Mon Monchon. We did dance like this. <laughs> Not really. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, 
that looked really cool. Uh -oh. Get the fucking camera. <laughs> <laughs> he totally <laughs> shot Payne like, get that camera in my face! <laughs> <laughs> my crotch. No. <laughs> and this would be on Alex. I, I was going to point at it. But you were going to grab it. I live in a van with six guys and it sucks. You start grabbing crotches. <laughs> Yo, Josh, disappoint us all. Lift off. Lift off. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. horrible. Man, Good job. When you're going to run out there and you're all alone Somebody's waiting to carry you home I hate those little Olsen bitches <laughs> You know when you're so high up And you look down from a, kind of like It's still really high And you're way up there and it's way down there yeah. I feel your balls tingle just a you little bit Come on Manager stuff. Yes. <laughs> God, I'm all dizzy now and shit. <laughs>
good about myself.
Well, thanks for having us. We're doing good. Uh, we bit just of a, ate food. <coughs> bit of a drive for you. Bit of a drive in. Nice little traveling uh, experience. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Uh, the flowers are blooming. It was wonderful. Uh, it is. We hate snow. <laughs> <laughs> Under the name of Asinine with uh, a couple other members. Another great name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it turned out a lot of other bands like that name. So uh, <laughs> when Josh moved to Phoenix after I did, uh, we named it Psycho Stick and met Alex, our drummer, through the uh, newspaper there. And uh, we had another bassist that we eventually fired, and then we brought Mike. It's like a national holiday. It's, uh, it's a national yeah, April 2nd. Yeah, April, April 2nd. 2nd. National Air Conditioner Guy Off Day. I think it was in April. Yeah, no shit. It would probably be like, you know, this, like, is, ah, ah, this is April uh, Fool's Day uh, squared, you know. Mike, tell them what you saw earlier today. Oh, that was bad. I saw a fucking diesel on its uh, face. It was like straight up. Yeah. It was on its face. With the, tra with the trailer, right? Yeah. I don't know how they managed to weld it to like stay like that. Well, it'd be done, but why? Why do it? <laughs> I waste the material in making a fucking diesel yeah. stand on its face like it flew from the heavens and... It like just landed yeah. face down and you just stuck it. Himself again. Yeah. It's all about minimal effort, right? Yes. Yeah. Minimal effort. For example, why drive with two hands on the steering wheel when you can just drive with one hand on the steering wheel? Or why drive awake when you can drive asleep? Sick. You can't go wrong, man. They're so great. They came to my house and I served them breakfast because I'm a bitch that way. Peace. <laughs> That's all. Here we have two things that we bought. Gloves. Kind of need that. We're in Wyoming right now. Got some gum. And single spam. Don't ask why. It's an obvious answer. I mean, we're on tour with SMB. We have to fuck with them. I mean, <laughs> our plan at this point is to just throw it in their van when they're not looking because a couple of the guys are pretty oblivious. I think we can get away with that pretty easily, especially if it's turf. If we're talking to turf, just kind of throw it in behind them or something. I mean, I think yeah. that would work. And yeah, we're going like, we, we, we want two things to be kind of this. One, <clears throat> want to see if like they start talking about it because we're going to do this regularly to see if they like catch it. Where, where is this? Who bought this? You know, and two, to see who ends up eating it. Yeah. They will definitely eat it. One of, one of the one guys, of guys will, will definitely eat it. Eat we just, it's just this. a question of you. You all need to know what a good tattoo looks like. JP here is going to show you. Fuck yeah. Nice. Yeah. When, uh, what's the name of the shop? Italian Arts Custom and Green. Psycho 
fantastic show was tonight. Don't lie. <laughs> oh my god! What's uh, your favorite Psycho Stick song? Oh shit. Before you answer, my next question will be, let me hear the chorus. So, uh, oh, I forget how the first line goes. I just know it says Donkey Punch. <laughs> what is it? I'll tell you. Uh, donkey Punch, you. So I don't know the next. That's one of the and lines I need to ask you. Something, something. <laughs> We're doing our job right. <laughs> there we go. I don't care if you do this before. It really is. We're here. Plus pickle. But, uh, is it all chewable? <laughs> it feels pretty chewable. Okay. okay those are. All right, dude. That's all you. I can't get a fucking piece out. Yeah. Oh, come on, just pull that shit. Milk. Here, I'll catch the rest. Oh. <laughs> you are <a> great soul. <laughs> it's like slime. I can't even pull it out. It's the best oh, that looks duty. so gross. <laughs> Holy fuck, that looks gross. Yeah, that does look pretty fucking gross. You're in the bar <laughs> That's all you, man. It's already cooked, right? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> It's semi boneless, packed in vinegar. Semi boneless. <laughs> well, <laughs> packed in vinegar. There's a bone right there. Acid. <laughs> it's gonna be the death of you. It's it's actually, really, really, really tasty. There's some big bones in it. <laughs> I don't know what you're eating, but uh, thanks, Pete. Okay. With a bone. One o'clock, by the way. Wait, they leave at one o'clock. Okay. <laughs> it's actually a six hour drive. I thought it was four. Oh, it's actually six. This is insane. Yeah. 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 I don't. I think slightly boneless was uh, yeah. wrong. There's a lot of bones. <laughs> Inconsistency in the product it, it description. Tastes, it tastes like it tastes like pickled. Pork. Oh my god! I yes. like pickles. You want to help me out here? Do you want some Cass? some sugar? Cass? <laughs> Cass? Do you want some sugar? <laughs> Well, Can you please stay on the whole tour? I wish. Now, first, the snack is transformed. Oh, man. This is how Cass gets his. It tastes really fucking good, though. Yeah, it does. This is how he gets his stage faces. You want some pickled pig feet? No. That's really good. Yeah, your band's eating you, pussy. Absolutely fucking. It's not my band, man. No, but your your road. No, well, Cass ate it. He. It, does, it tastes really good. No. Hell of an endorsement. Like if I was actually really hungry still, I would so eat it. But I'm so turf? full that I think it's gonna kill me. Yeah, where's John? Take a bite. I need to find turf. Turf's not gonna be dead. Turf. I'm sure it is. You want some right now? It's really good. Oh, really good. I cooked food. Sorry, Brian. Yeah. No, they had no ice cream. What game are you playing, Josh? My game you're in the way of. Oh! Ah! Yeah, that's not moving, that's continuing to be there. There we go. So, um, Josh, did you ever find your glasses? They were not in my fucking pocket earlier. I checked very thoroughly into my pocket. I pulled everything out of my pocket. These were not in my pocket. Now they're in my pocket. What the fuck? Perhaps it was I, the stick fairy? The, I have the, the pressure of the road is getting to me. That would be the secret at Come work. On. You Nick? unattracted the glasses to your face. I <laughs> disintegrated them from reality, Did and then once I them? gave up, they reappeared in my pocket. That's what happened. Oh, fuck you!
As soon as Alex quits <laughs> sticking front stuff in front of me. Yeah. Nice. Tell you the truth, it's actually more of a tradition just to have people look stupid and wear cheese on their head at our house. Oh, well, I'll, do, I'll definitely do that. That's not nice. Oh, I'm sorry. But this is an official. Yeah, that's what we know. to get soup. I'm not feeling too good. I wanted a little something light and, and tasty and I wasn't I'm not in the mood for salad because they put shit on the salad. I was like, yeah, hey, I'll have a soup. They're out of soup. Okay, there's a fresh fruit and yogurt, right? They don't have any fruit. <laughs> nothing else looks appetizing to me, so I said, I'll have nothing. So, so it's saying babies know the difference between good and bad people, so therefore babies would not like us. <laughs> this is why I should not have children. Satan! <laughs> I actually want to put this down the record about Satan. Hayok? Hayok? Where the. Babies get fruit. Josh, what's going on? Well, we're in Newport Ritchie, Florida right now, and apparently there's a tornado in the area. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't like destroy our van with all our gear in it or kill us. And what time is it, Josh? It is 4.53 in the morning. I am never going to sleep unless I die and sleep forever. Mm. Luckily, I, excuse me, right over here. <laughs> I am not worried because I'm like a tornado buff and I have seen every fucking documentary right now, so I know what to do. Which is and what? First of all, stay away from windows. Second of all, if it's coming near, you're gonna hear the sound of like a train. It's like kind of a rumble, or like a jet engine, like a kind of sound. I don't hear any right now, which means it's probably not in the area. The damage path of tornadoes are usually really small. The odds of it being a tornado that's like a mile, like a mile wide, that's like an F5. Those are like five to ten percent of all tornadoes. Odds are this is probably just a water spout that's an F1 or maybe F2. So we're gonna turn the weather and see. How, how fucked up of a tornado we got. Well, you know, we're also seeing the weather in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, it's very relevant to what's going on right now. Yes. It already hit northeast of here. Crisis over. Okay, that's good because they travel northeast usually, and which means we are not in the damage path. So we can go back to sleep. Shit. Alex does that shit. Give me that straw. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
<laughs> and as most people know who Jimmy is, this is Jimmy. Come on. Jake, how do you like touring so far? So far, so good. I haven't played one single show yet. But you've eaten twice. Yes, so I feel like I'm halfway there. <laughs> <clears throat> I also think that I'm gonna kill that first show and then everything will be fine. Jake, why don't you tell the fans uh, what, what three bands are, are your favorite? Mm, that's a tough question. Who'd you listen to on the way, or what band did you listen to this morning? Psycho Sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Any, anything else? Um, my favorite bands really are probably Alice in Chains, Pantera, and then there's another one that comes in close third, but they're hard to differentiate from. Could be Tool, but that's kind of a lame answer. Yeah, it is. I think I'll go for... Uh, Everybody likes Tool. Endorphin. I like Tool and Metallica and Pantera. <laughs> Austin Chains is by far my all-time favorite. You ever see him play live? Uh, not with Lance Staley, but I did see him twice with their new singer, and it was equally as amazing. He wasn't trying to be Lane Staley. He pulled it off like really well. It was awesome. Like, this looks reasonably bad, reasonably bad, but Alex would know the history on the director, all the actors that were in it, and any sequels along with who, the distributor and with the other movies on the distributor. The Dead in Breakfast. Why, hello there, camera. I'm assuming this is a video. Oh, nice. I got a bunch of that in there. How you doing, camera? Say hi to the camera. He's, uh, it's not a picture, it's a he knows that. This thing is so destroyed. So destroyed. Look at what's going to happen. Fuck that car up. Here, let's leave the tag on. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta leave the tag. All right, there's free shit things over here. If you this thing it. is going to be thrown into the pit tonight. Look at that. Candy. It gives him an incentive to destroy it. Not like. <laughs> That's gross, man. This one's worse, though. Nasty. That's what happens when I breathe. Josh, give me a tour update. Just had a first show last night of the tour in Odessa, Texas, where me and Rob are originally from. And the show was awesome. The crowd nearly knocked over the PA on the right side of the stage, or left well, stage, stage, stage right, yeah. you know, audience <laughs> stage, <laughs> audience is left. Nearly knocked it over, but like some kind of soul saved the thing, so we didn't have to pay for that. That would have been really sucked to have to buy a nice JBL stack. Uh, and uh, oh, saw a lot of like old <laughs> friends that like were actually there to see the band and didn't know like I was in the band. And they were like, you're in the band? They're like very confused. And then they're like, oh wait, I know someone in the band. So that was really funny. And they had me sign stuff. I'm like, dude, I know you. Why, why am I signing this? You can just call me. <laughs> but it was awesome. Um, yeah, good show. We, this is our second time playing Odessa, and uh, this is better than the last one, actually. And uh, it's a great way to start off the tour. Jake and Jimmy we, or did like did fine. Um, they had a lot of fun. Jake was Jake. Jake Sure. Hey Jake, how was your ex first experience? Well, how was your experience in the first Psycho Stick show that you've ever played in? Completely and utterly insane. Yes. <laughs> you just called it gay. He enjoyed it. Did you not? I did. Not. Yes, I did. <laughs>
I thought it was terrible. Thank God the bass player. Well, there you go. More proof that we are amazing. What's going on? How much? How you doing, Nick? Welcome to my abode. Come on. Stick ever comes to your house, because I'm assuming that this will be on the internet at some point, knowing Anthony. It's quite possible. Shiner Buck and Killian's Irish Red. This is Rob's favorite right here. If you don't have those two, they will hate you for the rest of your life. They do well there. Okay, so we've been all right. Yeah. There's also a place called. So, uh, this is how Josh uh, works. He wakes up to work. I think I still he wakes up, he's working. Yeah, you should, you should. He's thinking yeah, about the routing in his like sleep. Happening over. That's what happens when you gotta be a DIY First band, you know? You can't, you can't go to sleep not thinking about routing. It's DIY. DIY. <laughs> D DIY. D DIY. Do, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Do it. I'm still half asleep, too. Rob's making excuses. I'm going Rob. I'm in my own reality show today. We're voting you off. <sighs> Jack, where are we going for breakfast? We're going to Bob Evans. Josh, how was the meal? It was Bob Evans, need I say more? I changed my religion. My religion is now Bob Evans. Okay, who wants to tell us where we are? We are in and Blue Earth, Minnesota with Turf. I, I, <laughs> this is where I'm from and I live with my mom at her house. <laughs> and, Rockstar uh, lifestyle. And you know, like we're here hanging out at the uh, Green Giant Monument. It's a uh, 75 foot tall statue of a corporate logo they built here in the mid 70s. It says a uh, dedication to the company. That's the only reason this town is still here. <laughs> and uh, hasn't just burned into the very cornfields it arose from. What's Don't you just want What's some green there? beans right now? <laughs> I would like some green beans oh, right this, now. Yeah, sprout something. The Green yeah, Giant so. also won the award on uh, David Letterman as the number one worst tourist attraction in America. <laughs> and uh, you can find it on many stupid roadside manuals, along with the fact that Blue Earth is also the uh, birthplace of the ice cream sandwich. Really? And Whoa! Yep, the ice cream sandwich was invented. Whoa! And uh, I think like this was also one of Jesse James's hideouts in like the 1800s <laughs> was here in town, and those are like our few claims to fame. And one of the guys who was a founder of the Art Deco movement was from here. Huh. Wow, I don't know if that is. Hey, guess what? <laughs> We're at Shayla's house shop in Minneapolis area in Minnesota, and Shayla's been how long have you known? Been a fan of Tiger Sand. Uh, Not long years. enough. Oh, shut up. <laughs> For years. <laughs> She's our buddy, and every time we come to Minneapolis, we have to come here and have tacos, and we call it Taco Tuesday. No matter what day of the week, actually today's Wednesday, but it's still Taco Tuesday. <laughs> All right, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Stop it! Yeah! yeah. 
double T from uh, WXRX in Rockford, Illinois. And you're watching Psycho Stick on DVD. Seven years ago, well, seven years ago today, we had our very first show ever. <laughs> yes, nipple, hairy, very hairy, large nipple man. Jesus Christ, two inches diameter at least. Good for you, man. somewhere between one and three beers and then a pitcher and some drunken karaoke and staying up till well, roughly four in the morning it's now nine and I get to drive nice. Yay! but I did agree I'm like okay if we can have fun tonight I'll drive in the morning and here's that morning and I'm questioning the wisdom questioning the wisdom of my decision but it was lots of fun last night so Talking robots. Me and Alex 
tell this. Well, we just got back from uh, Giggle Gigglebee's Robots Pizza and Games, and we went there based on the sign because I wanted to know if they really had robots in there, and they do have a robot, and his name's Wilbur. Yes, and the he, rat thing. Yeah, he's a, rat I think it was a coyote. Is, yeah. I believe yeah. he's a coyote. That's, I, I think he corrected us after no, talking no. a little bit of smack what, to what us. What did he yeah. say when you asked you? But, but, uh, oh. he, he rode around, and he like looked at us, and he said, None of you guys are under 20, are you? <laughs> and then he laughed and rode off. And Alex, he's like, we just got punked by a robot. <laughs> a robot coyote at that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, and he's like a pizza slave. <laughs> and he had the, he like had the tricycle, so the whole time I'm like waiting for him to be like, live or die, psycho stick, make your choice. <laughs> so like something out of Saw, so freaky and scary. He freaks out and drives away. <laughs> it was awesome. And kids just walk up to him. Like, yeah, didn't the kid, kid punch him or something? Yeah, yeah I just punched him. Yeah, yeah, and they hold their mouths shut so he can't talk. Yeah, that was all that crap when I was a little bastard. Oh, That's man. a robot. Do you know what a robot can do to a kid? <laughs> With, a <laughs> With a tricycle? With a tricycle? Run him right over. Yeah. yeah, yeah really laser beams out the eyes. Or <laughs> yeah. I noticed that his head spins around backwards too because he passed us and then he totally. wanted to look at us again. Oh, it's creepy. So it's so kind of like, like the, what'd you say? <laughs> like something from like, like the exorcist. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, totally. Hey, what's up? I'm Jory from The Crow in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and you're watching Psycho Stick on DVD. Psycho Stick! because you're in the shot. <laughs> Can't beat one for five bucks. So uh, how's the tour going? So far, so good. <laughs> Rob, how's the tour going? The tour is going phenomenal. You, you want to get Rob out of the van? 
Yeah, Why? What's wrong with Rob? Oh, he's like looks really pissed and sick and comfortable. I'm not gonna do it. Real <laughs> quick. <laughs> of the lamb's tuck? Huh? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> wait, but girls don't have to deal with bat wings. Yeah. But some girls have to deal with the roast beef curtains. You know, like, that's, that's pretty terrible. That's pretty go. Go. When I throw up on the floor, I can go and drink some more. They say beer will make me dumb. It aren't so good with pizza. Good. Tie. Yeah. I think it's a tie. Yeah. yeah. The last time we were in town, you did not know the lyrics of Orgasm Equals Love. What are they now? The one you asked me? Give me a lyric, man! Don't you punch you after I come all over your sheets. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, oh. it's poop all over your sheets, oh, not sorry. Louder. Poop. What's the chorus? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. The word feel is in it multiple times. <laughs> Josh, he failed twice. Oh. That's two failures. Next time. I suck at life. You do suck at life. Luckily, you brought muffins, but that's no excuse. <laughs> you know, if you add like ladies at the end of anything, it sounds real creepy. It's like I like crackers. Ladies, that's good stuff. I like that. All right, ladies. All right, now you're all here in the center. Now, gentlemen, why do you guys start their band in the first place? Why is this? Come on. Yes. Yes. That is 100% correct. It is not for money, music, fame, or drugs. It's to get chicks. Oh, you're doing video, you fucking asshole. <laughs> like, all right, do a picture. Why well, you gotta get that? You gotta, you gotta get one of, one of those. I'm still ready, dude. I'm still ready. You gotta get like a fucking video camera. I'm done. <laughs> Talking really fast. Well, it's a constant. Yeah, yeah. Well, hello there, Anthony. Why for you videotape all this time, Anthony? Do you want reality shows? You like uh, you like it when we have emotions on the internet? 
Shut up, guys. I'm making video blog 17 for MySpace. MySpace.com. Lot of skits, LOLs. <laughs> RMFG, Ruffle and Mao. Um, barbecue. see the layers I started with here. We got a taco shell, got a little bit of fried rice, some Kung Pao chicken, topped with cheese and lettuce. I like to call it simply the Kung Pao taco. Mmm, spaghetti. Alright. Okay, so that's we're gonna get back to the song spaghetti even though it has nothing to do with it. I'll ask. I mean, I'll snub the package deal. Okay, let's see what we got. Steve. Okay, now notice yeah, what up? Yeah. that right. you failed. Yeah, I failed. It's okay. Yeah. It's like, now, you want to pour a beer, you got to keep in mind, you can't pour like a, like a glass of tea or water because all the fizz rises. Oh, pretty much like a soda. So, you tilt your glass, and you pour slowly, like so. I think it was. Oh yeah, marching band, dude. Imagine how bad the band is musically. Imagine them trying to march. <laughs> we couldn't even do a straight line. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so bad. We tried to do rock around the clock, but it was like a retarded clock. <laughs> it just did not work at all. You want to just go in and make our own food? I think so. Huh? Go ahead. You see that? That look up, she totally forgot us. She's like, oh my god. Oh, the back room. Got you. No, man, girlfriends. Hey, it's Hammer from K Bear 101 here in East Idaho, and you are watching Psycho Stick on DVD. I mean, I, I look out the window here, and we're actually doing pretty good weather-wise, but yeah. it's still it's still like crap over there, well, Wyoming, huh? Well, we were driving at night. See, that's bad idea driving. Snow melts. It's like 30 uh, below yeah, the it's wind. Like, <laughs> ice. Yeah, we hit that one ice patch and just goes sliding around. We were like facing the opposite direction of the of the, the, of the way we came whenever we got did off a the road. 180 on I. <laughs> well, the fellas, that's what you get for, uh, for going to Wyoming. Next time, we'll just go ahead and skip your ride on over. You come up here. Hey, this is Psycho Stick, <laughs> and you're listening to the Rock Show on K Bear 101. Rob, in honor of not being a bitch, we got you this today. It's lingerie models. What the hell? You gotta be a gift card. <laughs> this is answers. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just so shocked. My friends usually don't get me anything ever. Wow. Well, it Rob. is Rob on stage really four times. We don't even know you well if, you had, if you had to use the play that shows, then we would have made like all that money. So. I see it as like, you know, still a game. <laughs> you get it so I enjoy it. You get it for I'm gonna give you guys hugs game, after man. I stand up. <laughs> but not right now, not on camera. Absolutely. I'm totally gonna eat one. Yeah, pizza. Why did you guys to blame it on him if you didn't have enough so he made you <laughs> That's awesome. Alright. We endorse this place, thank you. And doing the hold down.
hotel for years. It's completely illegal. If you go into somebody else's room and steal their shit, they're comparable for it. take off and we hear this thud and this really awful grinding sound and it stinks and like first thing we thought is that the little stand that holds the trailer up had like fallen down and was dragging on the ground but no 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 it was much much worse the wheel fell off and it was actually the corner of the trailer dragging on the street digging up concrete as it went along that's a very not reassuring sound. So, uh, yeah. I guess it's all balanced because we popped three of these tires on the right and then the left one fell off. So it's just kind of like, I think we're balanced on both tires as far as like everything that could possibly go wrong. Replace the axle and we should be good, you know, as far as like the horrible luck for at least two or three tires. So Rob, how's the tour going? Good. It's going so good, we just ate Subway. Oh, you're fine, come on. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't put it on the internet. Thanks. Which we'll do tomorrow, but anyway, here's Alex. Right, our tour's going so well, we had to have Subway, right? Yeah, dude, Subway. Not fucking White Castle. We'll have that later, Don't They worry. were talking about it. Fuck okay, this. What? People shave in restaurants all the time. Leave me alone. He's a hobo. <laughs> I need a beer. There you go. Is that your mirror? Yeah. Got one. It's kind of distorted, but... You know, they have a real mirror in the bathroom right behind it. I didn't see a bathroom back there. You should zoom in on the sign. It's in the shot. What? The restroom sign. Oh, sweet. Probably so. What are you supposed to like lick the glass to? Oh, yeah, yeah, scoop the glass, man. Yeah, you can eat. Oh! Dude, look, look at all that fudge down there. Like, look, look, look at this. It's all fudge. Eat it. Ah! No, I'm gonna some ice cream too. It's all like, like uh, whipped cream. It's like too I'm much. This too. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Damn tasty. A little lower, a little lower, a little lower. Keep going. No! I tried. She has like class or something. <laughs> Whatever that is. Let's see, let's see. See the goods? Tattoo. Right, Amazing! There. Tattoo. Christina, the brute, not doing nothing. <laughs> Trailer incident number five. Oh, the, uh, show the camera. 
Hey, show the camera. Show the camera. Right? Show the camera. Show the camera right? Sh shine, the, shine the light on it. Like, that is like, you know, take that a corner. Move your hand. Yeah, that's the uh, thing that, like, holds yeah. the... Uh, holds the car apart. Yeah, it holds the trailer up. Now we can't detach the trailer it's, it's because this thing like, is screwed up. So this is the fifth thing that's gone wrong with our trailer this tour. We have three shows to go. Let's see if we can get through this tour without anything else going wrong. <laughs> on the beach and long walks on the beach so that's why I'm at the beach doing having a nice long walk on the beach yeah and uh, my stupid van is here too Jimmy's sleeping in the van he doesn't believe in the beach and having long walks on the beach like me I like long walks on the beach it's very uh, all he wants is chicks <laughs> I shall not deny it. I, hey, look at this. How can you resist me with the beach behind me and the ocean behind me? Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfection. Statuesque. Uh, amazing. We are here at JV's Taco Shop in San Diego, and this is the epitome of burrito in here. This is people have climbed to the top of mountains and met Zen masters for what these guys are getting ready to experience right here, right now. Let's do this. The right theory is that if it comes in yellow paper, it's usually really damn good. So, first impressions. Big. Alright, here we go. Yeah. We've had many requests for larger size shirts and uh, we decided that most of you needed to lose weight but some of you that won't like you're not the subway guy this is a what is it a 5x 5x shirt right here so don't bitch anymore that's me it's definitely you. I'm gonna put it on. Fat ass. Five yeah, Put it on for us, Al. See how it looks. See, it on. I thought about sleeping under this. <laughs> sorry, know, sorry. Sleeping I sleeping uh, using this as a blanket, but instead I think we'll sell it. So, whatever. Well, and that shirt's <laughs> even too big for me. <laughs> yeah. And Jake's a whole lot of man. I am. A whole lot I of got, man right here. I got stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's where foot goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up. All right, do something with this. Yeah. What? <laughs> I mean... Apparently drums require something other than maintenance, you know. Tell Evans to make more HD dry heads. These are hard to find sometimes. Yeah. I've already seen the image, but still, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm building places to put our shirts. Jake is looking stupid. As you You know, I just realized from an engineering perspective, 
Legos. You know, it's like you got the standard blocks, and then you have the little tiny thin ones, and three of them make up one block, right? But don't you think that it would make more sense to make four of little thin wafers make up one block from an engineering standpoint? Because yeah, make it even. But, yeah, make it. Uh, that's why, like you know, structures are sometimes unstable because you always have to make it line up by you know. So in other words, three. this is why that you'll never be able to build an actual kingdom made out of Legos because there'll be one that's just a little bit off. You're always gonna be like one off, no matter. Complicates things. Well, there you go. Just shoot down every dream of being King Lego. Mm -hmm. You know, we get asked a lot about the inspiration of some of our songs. Where do you get your song ideas? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Usually it's from real life. In the case of Two Ton Paperweight, here it is. This is the official real Two Ton Paperweight that inspired the song. This thing did not like the Arizona heat. I never had a problem with it until moved to Arizona and hadn't found a job yet. Wait, wait. And that's when the thing started ripping down. Second to one place, and that is Mom's house. Y'all are just too sweet. Mom's home cooking. This is. Did you get get the me? greatest benefit of touring is that we can stop here regularly. <laughs> what are you looking for? Jake. Um, God of War, forty bucks. Crisis Core, forty bucks. Silent Hill Origins, thirty bucks. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Well, I'm looking for a bathroom. Is that on the wall? No. Maybe they got it for PlayStation 3. Oh. Uh, That's why I wanted to get you know if you got a wheel bearing in your shot. That's right, bad. Didn't need, didn't need to have your freeze it up and rack. Up, Tony, I'm gonna invite you. Thank you. This is the VIP room of the Psycho Stick Roadside Party. Okay. Roadside Party is party. I got outside. chocolate I milk, but I don't even know who VIP. It's Psycho Stick. My shit. Hey, hi, I'm Skeet. I'm in the Look What I Did. 
And this is my crib. This is, look, here. This is where we throw shit around like wrappers and clothing. And like wrappers who do stuff like Ice Ice Baby. And we sleep there and here and here. And someone sleeps here very uncomfortably. And then someone hopefully does not ever sleep there because they're driving. And that's my crib! Hey, I'm El Dudorino, and you're watching Psycho Stick on DVD. You know, these shows just aren't as good because Nick isn't around. I wish Nick would come to our show. Holy crap. Uh, limbering up for a show. Yeah, warming up. I need to warm up. Very important. Yeah, very important. important. I can't play with that if I don't get up there and beat. <laughs> Draw us lovely and shit. Power glove. Yeah. Stick. Power glove. Cycle stick. Oh. Power stick. Cycle glove. Yeah. Oh, he's stolen the soul to play by yourself. That's cool. Together stays together. Hey, baby. What do you think about the idea of taking the stained and or damaged merchandise and calling it having bonus materials and selling it for twice the price? Mm. Oh, that's awful. Now, let me hear your favorite poison song. Give me the dance. That's not my favorite, but I was going, you can look, but you can't touch. Because of things in the Yeah. Oh, I thought I could pick him up. Hang on. No, you can't. Really? Yeah, I tried earlier today. I need to go buy the new Cyber Stick CD. <laughs> buy the CD, everybody. I got the flyer from Dan. I'm going to leave right now and go. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. <laughs>
as you can see, they're a nice plump white color, grayish white. Yes. That means they're going to be very tasty. Hey, we are uh, wrapping things up here. We've got some burgers going too, but the beer brats are starting to become done. Nice and brown. And once you put them in your mouth, you take, save your onions. After your beer is boiled and you put all the caramelized onions inside the beer and you boil the, the brats inside the beer, keep the onions in there. And afterwards, you scoop the onions out, put them on top of your brat with some mustard, a little bit of mustard if you prefer. Actually, I don't like mustard, but mustard on beer brats is amazing. And there you go, you're done. How to make super me mega awesome uh, queso. Start with a block of Velveeta. My eyes hurt. Yeah, it was. You're gonna need a can of Rotel, and hopefully you can find this in your area. An optional cream of mushroom soup. You can also use question, a- Question, question. Uh, Rotel, what would be a suitable uh, substitute if they cannot find it? Okay, Rotel, this is basically diced uh, green chilies, tomatoes, and like lime juice and stuff like that. A good substitute, like any decent salsa. You can actually just use any kind of salsa. So as long as you get like chunks of tomato and you like it, I would just stay away from paste because that's not, that's like the Taco Bell of salsa. You know, it's just mediocre. You know, try to get something that's at least, you know, good. But you can really use any kind of hot sauce at all. But I recommend Rotel because of the consistency. Diced tomatoes and green chilies. And they have different three. They have mild, they have hot, and they have extra hot. So you have heat options too. And like I was saying, cream of mushroom soup or milk. You can use it. Um, I prefer the cream of mushroom soup. It makes it a little thicker. But you can just use milk. Another thing to make it easier to melt, you want to cut it into cubes. I did wash my hands. My mom was a nurse. <laughs> I am super sanitary. She taught me all the way to wash my hands. Yeah. So don't give me none of that shit. Alright. Yeah, you just cut, basically cut it into cubes. This is frozen. It doesn't have to be frozen. Actually, it does better if it's just sitting on the shelf. If it's colder, it's going to take longer to melt when you do it. But yeah, you cut it in little pieces like this. So that whenever you throw it in the pot and melt it, it melts way faster. You have cut your Velveeta into little cubes of cheese. Mm. Although those are actually like more like half rectangles. But whatever. You got a can, can of Rotel. You're gonna dump it in. Bam. Put another can in there. That's, we only got one can. Oh. One can per block of uh, Velveeta is like the, the good ratio. Then, now this is the tricky part. Cream of mushroom soup. You know, use, I usually use anywhere from half a can to three fourths of a can when putting it in here. But you know, you kind of got to feel it out. You start with like a little bit, and if it's like needs more liquid, you add more liquid. But usually, I end up with somewhere around you like half a can to three fourths of a can. Close. When you're melting the Velveeta, you want to use, um, you know, put it on medium to low, medium lowish. If you turn it up too high, then the Velveeta will burn and stick to, quit zooming in my face, it'll burn and stick to the sides of the uh, pot. And you do not want that because then it'll be very, very big pain in the ass to clean it up later. Actually, see how the Kurt cubes are turning to liquid? Liquid. Cube. Looks a little strange at the moment, but in a second it'll be a good creamy goodness ready to be put on a corn tortilla chip and consumed by lucky human beings, which would be us. And it's not you. That sucks. Yeah, it does. It is time to test the queso. That's what the finished product looks like right there. Notice how creamy and saucy it looks. I'm going to dip it in. We're going to get an, eat a very moderate covering balance between the chip and the sauce. Notice the lack of drippage as an expert queso consumer. It is ready. 
no, no. no. Look at that. That's dripping cheese goodness on my face right here. I am making video blog 25,000. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I want to know. <laughs> Do you need to like brush your teeth or take a crap or something? Can I film that? <laughs> hey, when's the next time you're gonna masturbate? I want to be there for that. Well, that'll be in about 10 minutes for me. Show me your latest defeat. Epic fail! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what? Brown, like saute. Yeah, you just want to get soft. That's all you eat want. it, Tony. Yeah, eat it. Garlic, if you eat it up too, too, too much, you know. Yeah, it gets good. Get more rhythm than that. I don't have the rhythm. Hey, is that is Alex at five? Uh, yeah. Is Schwulix here yet? Uh, no, uh, not yet. No Schwulix. No wow. Schwulix. Okay. One more. One more. Christina Johnson ordered a cyber stick eats wow. babies. Did not indicate. That means Jake gets the final shot for the Orgasm Equals Love song. Yay! Yay! Dealing with orgasms <laughs> or love. I need the right, song, so dude. make the song about like orgasms and song. love and stuff. All right. It sounds like a fart. 100% UV protection uh, right here. Oh god. Although this is... <laughs> Dude, I could drink you up. Let me 
14 of the sombreros. Yeah. But how do you love? All those sombreros will be destroyed by the end of this tour. That's awesome. Psycho Stick! How did you guys first hear of Psycho Stick? It was a random encounter, actually. I remember. I, it was a random encounter. It was one of those, hey, okay, I'm gonna listen to this song. Oh, hey, they're actually really good. I wonder what other songs they play. Oh, hey, I really like them. Cool. Wow, that's really nice. And what is your favorite song by them? Oh, God. Um, My car's a piece of shit. Uh, that and... Oh, man. I hate doing laundry. <laughs> Nuts. How'd you do it, Christy? I fucking blew. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck this. Psycho stick! Psycho stick! Psycho stick! Psycho stick! Psycho stick! This is Shafty. He used to, he used to be an editor for Blood.com. And this man is solely responsible for training Rob how to like beer. Because, fun fact, Rob didn't like beer when we recorded. before she could have a piece so Courtney it looks really good and I'm about to have some for you since you left without getting a piece Brittany's getting it back huh look at that they say that, that it's the worst beach, beach body but she's getting it back Thank you, Jaeger, for 
saving us from getting our asses pulled over. So beautiful. Never, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Jailbait. I hate all the shows because of that, but hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna go there. JB. JB. So. <laughs> Look at this piece of uh, awesomeness on my head right now. Now, let me explain how this works. I need to find out who the toughest motherfucker is in here who can do the most push-ups, sit-ups, squat thrusts, and or fireball hadoukens. Are you? Are you sure? Okay, here you go, buddy. Put that on there. Put it on, hold it on. Now, <clears throat> this is my favorite part. Keep it on. No, 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 that's not cool. Even though we all hate her. All right. Keep it on there. Okay. Now, the objective of this song, when it starts, not before, not after, but when it starts, is to get the sombrero from that guy. That's all of you against him. Okay? All right. You asked for it. The motherfucker's got the sombrero! You suck. I'll tell you what. Ah, this is Swedish death metal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm Bubba and Psycho Sticks riding my go cars. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> I just wrecked, and there's going to be a huge bruise there. seriously. Wouldn't that be just sad, Anthony? That would be sad, Josh. So the moral is, if you have a cure for world hunger, 
Don't wear stuff like this because people won't take you seriously, even if your solution is totally valid. Three of us are staying with my good friend Danny. Yeah. This guy, he like, I mean, he got me, he, he is a guy that convinced me to start band. Oh, you man. You know, like dude. playing trumpet and getting me to music at all, you know, so. Oh, and Mattel, a lot, big time, dude. Oh, yeah, this, this guy got me into metal. <laughs> look, look, this guy right here. And you know what the irony is? He's in a country band now. He's in, the guy that got me into metal is in a country band now. My friend sent me an email, and it was a picture of a tree, and the tree on it had a thing that looked like a giant hole. Behold. Here. Psycho Stick delivers creative solutions to common problems. <laughs> Videotape it. Damn. That's really disgusting. <laughs> Jimmy just ate a small pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> what in the Sam fucking hell are you doing? Well, you need a gumball, man. Oh, bubble gum. I, I ate half of mine. My mouth is full of gum. I ate half of it. I can only imagine like what he's doing. really cool is if he did that on stage while trying to sing. Beer! Ooh! Beer! 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 Pardon me while I burp in your face. When Rob moved in with me, the first thing he bought was like 30 hot pockets. That's a self-contained like meal right there. It's like cheap, tasty, and quick, and cheap, just like me. I'm gonna rock this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> XM Satellite Radio's Liquid Metal Channel. And you're watching Psycho Stick on DVD. I'm still wiped My out face yesterday. will be on your right boob, it'll be all good. Can you take a picture? <laughs> Just, I get drunk and it's cheaper for me. And everybody else has to pay that's, more money. That's true too, and the hangovers might be less too, right? Yeah, I don't, I've never had a hangover because of that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You've got the plan then. What did we say to all of you? <laughs> <laughs> To Anthony or Larry? Yeah, yeah. He's, Anthony, he's the one with the camera, dude. Hey, Rob, say something yeah, under the one. camera. No, no, we're talking to Anthony. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Hey, nice. Anthony. It is hey, how it is. If you're a dude and you have a hot girlfriend, tell her to bring her friends to the show. Otherwise, yeah. you're not getting in. Psycho stick came to my house. Bastards ate all my food. So how was the band tonight? Which one? Psycho Shtick? I love the Rolling Stones, man. Okay. Real men eat their food like a man. Oh, wait a second.
Hey, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Fusion Company, the uh, the ingredients. Loft, loft house cookies are so good and soft and The cheap. temperature they were baking. Oh, have a cookie. Type of frosting. Eat one. Get your own cookies. Psycho Sick ate my cookies in Detroit, Michigan. Somebody say something. We're going to White Castle. And we're hoping not to have a whole movie about it. <laughs> like we're just gonna there already go there is a movie eat. about it, Anthony. It's called When Harold and Kumar Went to White Castle. And it was, and we're going to White Castle. This yeah. is gonna be called. We don't have White Castle of Phoenix, and he's never the been to White Castle. The only difference is we don't have to travel across like a city. We just stride over there. Technically, we drove from Phoenix to be here. Yeah. stick play last night and I had a really good time but there was no room for Martian. I didn't like that shit. Hell no. <laughs> Here comes Ty. Ty, you weren't so good last night. Sign starts with Psycho Stick. Yeah. Man, we're just throwing it in the first game. I'll be like, 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 I'll be
Rob, what's the the big issue of the morning? We've come across a very dire situation where a decision needs to be made and it's pretty close to life and death. If you look over here, probably want to step this way a little bit, get out of the way of the tree. You see a Chipotle and then a Jimmy John's and they're pretty much right next to each other. The caribou coffee is the meat of the sandwich. Now, both places are divine in their food. Yet, I'm lost as to what to do. Some people are saying Chipotle, some people are saying you know Jimmy John's. my logic in this whole thing is? Well, really, we've got Chipotle in Arizona, but we don't have Jimmy John's in Arizona. And we're gonna be in Arizona in a couple days for a long time. I'm gonna hit Jimmy John's, that's for sure. But I think all Chipotle should have a Jimmy John's right next door. I know, how awesome is that? Because that would make, that one, you know how like Taco Bell and Pizza Hut will combine into like a, they should do that with Chipotle and Jimmy John's. Oh yeah. That would be, that would be heaven. Absolute heaven. In every possible way. Yeah, yeah man. This is, this is Mash on Shack. shirt contest by smearing feces on a shirt and saying, writing on it, this is real poop, because what's more terrible than someone's poop on a shirt and smeared all over there? So we pulled over at a rest stop today, you know, we, 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 left, we woke up at the crack of dawn to do this plan. We went to the rest stop and we smeared poop all over this white shirt, spent, you know, arts and crafts, just, you know, dabbed it on there, got, all, got it, you know, got everything on there, the, the corn, the nuts, the, uh, you know, everything, everything good. And then after that, we wrote this is real poop on there and Jay wore my poop. And then we entered the contest and we lost. But you we know lost. what, in our hearts we are victorious. It, it smelled. Rigged. And shitty. We won, dude. Rigged. I'm just gonna think that contest I won. We won rigged. our own mind as well. Just might as well. Basically, we are the shittiest band in the world. <laughs> he needs, he's outside. IRA. Yeah. 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 Right. What? motherfuckers got the sombrero! Rob, how did the gas prices treat us on tour? This is your butt, this is the gas. Alright, motherfuckers! It's time to go on the tour! Change 
getting tired, baby. Got it? <laughs> One more time. One more time. Music. It's been like Caribbean, Caribbean Queen and Michael Jackson. Uh, what is this, Billy Jean? It's, it's a psychological thing. It is. This is how you start every good metal show. It's with some fucking Lionel Richie or something. Now it's time to play our game. Now our game is done. Ugh. Jace, what do you think about our awesome merch tent? I think it looks like we're going camping. I'm a dead man walking out. Sick. We have the stupid shaped tent back there. Come say hi to us later. Have a great show. And drink lots of water or I'll stab you in the face.
you sign my shirt. I'll you sign your shirt. Put that down. Yeah, I got one right here. Oh. Okay. World's most famous midget, Willow. War will videotape me, man. Yeah, that's well, right. War with Davis is, is badass, though. Willow was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. Yeah, but how was the show? Good. Actually, it was freaking insane and awesome and amazing in every possible way. So it's pretty good. Good, man. Good. I'm good. Yeah, no complaints. Yeah, you got anything to say? Sucked. Sucked. Jimmy has like 20 or 30,000 people. That's such fucking pussy, dude. That's pussy, dude. Def Leppard had 40. The fucking, they're Def Leppard. We had a drummer with two arms. We got like fucking, yeah, I think, you, what, you, 5,000 you, you cops is what we played to. But they were old. They were a good 5,000. Yeah, Ugly, yeah. stinky. I'll get it, guys. Don't worry. Home sweet home. Well, me and Anthony. Yeah, it's not your sweet home, Jimmy. No, let's order a pizza, though. No. All right, come on.